Warning, this is a pest control video and it will show pests being controlled with air rifles. If this is likely to offend you, then please stop watching now. For the rest of you who like these type of videos, let's get on with the action. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Pontypool Pest Control. In today's video, I'm going to be heading back to my rabbit permission. I decided to start using the FX Impact Mark 1 again. I haven't used it for a few months, so I decided it's time to put it back to use. My last visit year, I was using the Vulcan 2 and the Miko Slugs. They perform very good together and they hit the bunnies very hard. It's time to see if the FX Impact running the same power is any different. The results from the Bisley Magnums. It's gone in quite deep but nothing has happened to the pellet. I have found this on most tests that I've done in the past. I think we need FAC to flatten them out. I could put this back into the rifle and use it again. But these are still very accurate and give us one shot kills with the right placement. The slug has a wider channel, it's also flattened out and dropped all his energy on impact. And it's not gone in so deep. I can now see why a lot of people are hooked on these, they actually work in sub 12 foot pound. I would like to remind you all, I'm not sponsored by Miko and I'm not trying to make them sales. This is the true results what they have given me, and it will depend on your rifle if they work for you. They're not cheap, but to have that little extra when hunting is always good. Don't be mean, kill them clean. The first young rabbit decides to come out and feed. Like I said in my previous video, young rabbits mostly jump around after being shot, but when it was slugs they just seem to roll over. Not long after, another rabbit decides to come out. I slowly take aim, but it moves as the shot is fired. The sheriff quickly reloads and sends a slug to his brain. I had to wait a while to take this shot, it was well hidden, but the sheriff has plenty of patience, and soon enough the shot presents itself, and another one gets evicted.
I could only see the back of this one's head. The first pellet goes between his ears. Very unlucky on that shot. The rabbit moves forward, presenting a small amount of his head. I try to get control of my breathing again. A good shot is never a rushed one. Perfect placement and another one added to the bag. The deputy is coming on well, and he has a go at this rabbit at 50 yards, and he smashes it with a very clean headshot. He means business, and his shooting and hunting skills are improving every time we're out. Thank you very much to everyone who's made it this far in the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. It was nice using the FX again, and the slugs work perfectly. Now there was a big difference from the Vulcan 2 and the FX impact. I'm guessing it had something to do with the barrels. Give me your thoughts in the comments below. Both rifles are running at the same power and they're both using the same slugs. Now the Vulcan 2 hits very hard and the FUD is unreal, but the FX either splits their skulls in half or it shatters them into pieces. Now the Vulcan 2 doesn't do this. I have an idea for the next video. I'll wash the blood off the rabbit and I'll show you the damage so YouTube can't complain about my content. It's the same effect as a rimfire. If you're new to the channel then you should consider subscribing, not to miss out on any of my upcoming videos. You can also join my new Facebook group, it's under Pontypool Pest Control. Thank you very much for watching, keep safe, you and your family, all the best, Pontypool Pest Control, aka The Sheriff.